I am putting together the team for the terror mission, and welcome back to XCOM Almost Perfect Tactics with your host, Grim Gary. Um, three heavies. That's an interesting take. Try to think. Not three heavies. <laughs> um, let's take Javier Chavez. El Sniperino. Load out. Now, somebody else has got the frickin' scope. Take a grenade, young man, and you take it well. You use that grenade like nobody else has used a grenade before. Um, and... Load out. Get that scope going. Really need to get this officer training school, but I won't be able to do it till I get the money! Alright. So this is the team. That I'm going with. Alright, the squad is selected. Let's go, go, go. Let me tell you a few things about terror missions. Terror missions are the one thing you do want. Because no matter what, they will reduce terror or not really increase it. On the mission site, if you manage out. to save enough civilians. But even if you do poorly, you're still going to do okay. Um... The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Let him talk. Blah, 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 blah. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely Gee, populated think? urban center. I thought it was we cartoon activity. Area and minimize mm. civilian casualties. Alright. Now, the key thing is, you get to save civilians in these terror missions. There's going to be between 16 or 18 civilians. Maybe 18. I think it's 18. I think it depends on the map. Central, this is the big sky. radio Your chatter. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Uh, I love and hate Solid this map. Copy, big sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Yes. They want us to save civilians, but when you get your first few terror missions and you're under-equipped like I am, they become less of a priority. Keeping your guys alive is more important than the civilians, to tell you the truth. Like you've seen, Mike, my casualty list has gone almost overboard. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to save these little civilian peoples over here. There are 18 of them on the map. Um, the, this little marker here is how many I've saved. This is how many have died. This is how many are just out there in the world right now. Um, this map, typically my route through this map is never through this area never actually gone this way. I typically go straight diagonally through. I'll encounter uh, a group of aliens here, and then I'll move up, and then I'll usually encounter a group up near, the, there's a barn up here, or a warehouse. And there's another civilian silhouette there. So let's uh, roll these guys out On Overwatch. and get this terror mission done. I'm going to be very cautious, and I'm going to keep track of ammo because chrysalids! Chrysalids are melee-only creatures. They move very fast. They have a lot of movement. Um, they will kill one of these guys with a single hit. And when they kill your guys, or even a civilian, they will turn them into a, a zombie. And the zombie is slow, but will also hit hard. However, after a few rounds, the zombie will then turn into a chrysalid. So, uh, yeah. You want to avoid getting face-to-face -face with chrysalids. Makes me nervous. Only four men <laughs> with all the, the starting type guns <clears throat> against my first chrysalids. But that's usually the way it'll be. It, you'll be able to survive it because there's usually only two <coughs> in the mission unless they manage to get some of the civilians converted into zombies and then thus into chrysalids. Take a nice slow route and make sure I can fire at every turn. 
I am going to rush over with uh, my sniper and save the civilian. There's a white circle that you'll see sometimes around the civilians. Your ass, you're safe. And that's the uh, radius that you need to get within to save that civilian. And then they'll go to the dropship. I'm on it. Big mama. And her big gun. What's making that noise? An alien. Don't worry about it. That's a civilian lost. Civilian saved. Tip for tap. Um, let's see. I'm still pretty sure I'm going to encounter something over that way, but you never know. What we'll do is we'll move up, see what the situation is. I don't see anything. I'll continue to move that way then. Let's get the sniper in a position. Sniper comes Got it coming. very much handy. This map. There's lots of long distance shots that they can make, especially when with squad site. Covering now. Yep, here we go. There's a chrysalid. Any hope we had of establishing a clear pattern of behavior among the alien species. This specimen is yeah, nothing them. like the others. Seems like they've got oh, one with everyone. A bunch of damage from the sniper. Ah, missed the target. Typically, you want to focus fire on one chrysalid at a time until you've killed them. Hopefully they move two times before they reach me, because that means they won't be able to attack. But they can move quite far, and he'll kill that civilian. Turn him into a zombie. Well, this leaves me with shooting at one for now. Uh, hopefully I can kill it. You gotta hit it, bud. Bud, you, you gotta hit it. Uh, boy, he doesn't even have bullet storm yet. Be careful with explosives. It doesn't really matter if you kill civilians this early. You don't really want to do it, but your men are more important than the civilians right now. Rocket wide. Rocket away. And the thing is, um, it doesn't matter about cover when you're dealing with chrysalids. They, uh, they're melee, so they're going to try to come up to your face anyway. Oh my god, my sniper missed. Adjusting sights. Dude, this is not good. Let's see, we'll try one shot, and if that doesn't work, we'll suppress it. There we go. Dead and gone. Instead, we're going to watch. Because there's still a crystal out there. Yeah, there it is. Hopefully he does no, not make it to one of my men. Threat. So if he makes it to one of my men and it gets to attack, he's dead. Okay. He took two moves. Oh, good. And Floaters. That's what I needed. It's exactly precisely what I needed. Was floaters to enter the fight. So even if I move this guy, the chrysalid's gonna catch up, unless I move him double. It's not going to get me anywhere, so I might as well stand my ground and shoot them in the face. He's down. We're going to move up here and go to Overwatch for now. He's just going to go directly into Overwatch. It's a floater pops his head out. He's going to take cover and reload. Fortunately, that leaves my sniper kind of open. Unless he can hit this guy, hopefully he can. Hit him. Tap him. Oh my god. You're the Negative most worthless damage. sniper I've ever had. Now he knows you're there. Thanks for the warning shot. Uh, oh well. This is why you this is why you keep them under cover. <laughs> It's a, it's a demonstration, yes. Well, now I'm a man down, but both chrysalids are dead, so hopefully I won't encounter too many more chrysalid zombies or... Yeah, he's gonna kill a civilian. But yeah, that, that sucks. 
That's the uh, second sniper I think I lost. Um, I'm just gonna take this time to reload. I'm gonna take the shot. Uh, yeah. Out of ammo here. Alright. Uh, I blew up my cover before, so that's not, that's not fun at all. Uh, it's taking a risk. Well, I don't have many choices here. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to run over here and start a flanking maneuver. I don't want to move them out of cover too much. What? What's over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> find some new cover. It's, the, it's the floater. They're on the move. Need to find some new cover. <clears throat> yeah. Hate being down a sniper. It's my fault. My fault entirely. Tank explode. I wish it was. Is it that easy to really take out a tank? I wish it was easy to take out that tank. So many games would be much more easy. Come on, show me my radius. Thank you. Uh, skip for now. 65% chance to hit. Do it. Toasted. And the rest of these going on Overwatch. Nope. Skip. Going over here and reloading. Locked and loaded. And you're going over here to Overwatch. Or maybe I can... What's my chance? Yeah. We will go to Overwatch. And cover. cover that guy. They're backing up! Advance! I was too busy shooting guy, uh, shooting civilians. Alright, move up. And... Well, this time I'll tip the pot fire. Negative this. damage. How about this? Really? I can't hit from there? It's just stupid crates in the way. Move to Overwatch. We'll stay over. Overwatch. Uh and he'll move up. Move to Overwatch. On Overwatch. <laughs> He's going after civilians in the building. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about civilians. If I save, if I happen to save them, I save them. But I don't focus on them this early in the game. Open fire. And a lot of the times you, oh, nice. And a lot of times you end up saving more than you think, anyway. That's my chance. Oh, Seventy percent chance to hit. I'll take that. Definitely take up. I'll take you up on that offer. All right. Um, let's move it around here. We got something flanked. I'm gonna take the shot. The flank thing. It's more likely that I will hit it. And let's move over here. Overwatch. Kind of a pyramid cover, a pyramid scheme cover. We know the stuff behind us is pretty clear. Come on, give me my radius. I hear an alien. What was that sound? Oh my God! It's an alien. Let's move up. Uh, what can we see? Nothing. So we'll move further into cover. Um, he's gonna move here and reload. reload. Like I said, keep track of them bullets. He's pretty good, so he's gonna move up and go into Overwatch. Got it covered. Can't see him. Uh, go ahead and reload. No rocket left, so we're just 
gonna chip this corner off. Throw a grenade. Eat this. Throw your grenades. Oh wow, that didn't kill him. That's unusual. Is he even there? I can't see him. Hello. Hello. Still a civilian. A civilian is up on the second floor. Well, no, there's two on the first floor. Okay. All right then. Now that I've blown up his cover, though, I should be able to hit him pretty easy. Bye bye. We nailed well, it. That wasn't commander. so bad. Mission accomplished. I made a stupid move with the sniper by not putting him behind cover and tried to overwatch him in a place that it was just dumb. I should have moved him to full cover and kept him alive. So, you learn. <laughs> and it's, it's, you've really got to avoid making those mistakes on classic mode. Alright, so let's head back to base and see, what's, see what can be done. I did okay sa saving civilians. So, the terror should go down in that particular area. Which is Canada. We're s we saved Canada, Canada again. Canada, yeah. We saved Canada. Where's that? North of Canada. What the hell is north of Canada? Canada. Gary's talking to himself again. Alright, promotions, except for the sniper. It's kinda hard to promote the dead. But look at look at the uh, Lieutenant Shoshana Klein, Big Mama. She's got twenty one kills under her belt. She's like kicking butt. Alright, what do we got? We got Grenader or Danger Zone? Or two grenades. I will take increases the area of suppression and all rocket attacks by two tiles. Why? Because suppressing multiple targets is better than suppressing one target. What do you got? You're getting your fast move on? Or covering fire? Mm -mm -mm. How do you have that fast move? You're, you're my new man. My new dude. Um, what can you do? He's get, you're getting bullet storm. Now, the question is, do I still have a sniper? I think I do. Now we can do a chrysalid autopsy. Panic has decreased across North America. Good. We will be in touch. Less uh, threat to Mexico there. Mexico. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body. So that's a good thing. To get terror missions, they'll keep your terror down if you do well at them. <laughs> Strange as that is. Um, barracks. Few soldiers. Uh, I don't have an active sniper. Okay. I do have a couple of snipers. A couple of snipers. Yeah. A couple of sniper in the wound bay. Alright. Now... Between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to start naming people, uh, naming my soldiers. I'm going to name them after uh, people I see commenting uh, on the video. So oh, if you comment on the video, have been true after all. I'll probably name a dude They're after just you. Here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Sex. They need women. Um, so let's manufacture this key. So I have it out of the way. Uh, engineers required. 20 credits, we got that. 8 Illyrium. 8 alloy, yeah. We got that. We got that. The potential applications for this sort of tech would have been limitless if the aliens had only come in peace. Now they're leaving pieces. Understand. Why use such advanced technology against innocent civilians? Because they needed beer. Alright, let's see if we can get the cell here. Um, it'll tell you if you haven't researched something, so I haven't reached the, researched the floaters or the chrysalids. I can sell sectoids. I noticed that there were no sectoids in there, so I better get a sectoid really soon. <laughs> or I could be uh, missing that one key thing. I'm doing this because I want to replace some soldiers. Uh, they're 15 a piece, so I need yeah, the 30 dollars. I hate selling alloys, but gotta do what you gotta do. A few soldiers. Uh, blah, 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 higher soldiers. To hire two of you. Uh, 
All right. We'll go for scan activity. And I gotta really wait a little bit longer to go assault that base. Um, well, because it's re it's a really long, difficult mission. And uh, if I could actually promote my support up to a point, um, that's good. This is a good uh, one that you may want to invest in. If you have floater corpses, you can convert them into a defense matrix dodge, which will uh, it'll make uh, UFOs miss your interceptors twice, I think, in a row. So that'll keep them in the fight a little bit longer. Alright, um, let's see what we got. 23 days, beam weapons. 8 days. It is time to get the beam weapons out. Well, that's fast. So let's, let's go with carapace armor. I'm probably not going to build them, but to answer the long who knows? Standing we'll see what happens. Of scientific history. The aliens, though. It's obvious now that they consider science simply a means to an end, using uh, and discarding. on. If she's babbling on like that, and you can't click on the mission control, just click on the button for the mission control, and she'll shut up. Uh, let's see. So we got satellites going up. New soldiers, carapace armor, and another satellite, which is an extra. I don't have the, the capacity for it. And in a week, the council report. Satellite coverage now available over each 142 credits for three arc throwers. How much is three arc throwers going to cost me? Let's see. Build by items. Arc thrower at this time costs 21, so I need 63 credits to build those. And I'll get 147 back out of it. So, I'll start selling off some sectoid corpses. Get me closer to that goal. So I need 13 more. I'll sell a weapon fragment. And there we go. Never sell more than than uh, is required of you. So three arc throwers. Manufacturer. One, two, three. Situation room, pending requests, arc throwers, dispatch items. Now I have 142 credits. Easy as that. Engineering, build facilities. How's my power looking? Can't quite build my well anything really. <laughs> now with a now with 142 credits. Mm, yeah, the thermo that I want is 200. So we're gonna hold off. Hold on to my money. I want to spend it right quick. We'll advance the days. Okay, we got the carapace armor going. Let's, um... And the skeleton suit's nice. Uh, it comes with a grappling hook, good for your snipers, even your uh, support guys, uh, because if they, if they can get two guys quicker, it's, it's better that way. Eventually you'll get the archangel armor, which allows you to fly, so... UFO power source, light plasma rifles. Just gonna take too long. Eight days. Well, we got the council report coming up. Hopefully we can hold out. Uh, which also means we're going to lose Argentina. And we're gonna get a lower grade. And we're losing their bit of funding. So, it won't be a great council report. Probably be a B, maybe a B minus. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't have any spaces for that. Satellite buddy. uplink facilities at maximum capacity. It's just an extra additional uplink required. Oh well. Um nope, nope, nope. Mission control. Scan for activity. And council Incoming report. Transmission. Commander. Unfortunately, one of our members has chosen to discontinue their involvement. Which I don't get. XCOM if you're really desperate and you're panicking, wouldn't you want more support? Like, demand more support? And what's the point of withdrawing resources from your only line of protection against this invasion? Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been 
worth it. Watch Nigeria. We hope that your current and Argentina. Only mark the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, Eros. <laughs> I know you was <laughs> mentioning that on Twitter. Ah, uh, that's funny. Remember, we lost your country, man. We will be watching. It's funny. In my last game, I lost Argentina too. What's what's up with that country? All right. Now we should. Oh yeah, we got plenty of money. The new uh, engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Yes, they We're did. Always glad to have did more new help down here. here. Yes, I did. Commander, at this point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. It certainly would. We get started on construction sooner, rather than later. Um. Time for another satellite uplink, if I can. I need the power, though. So, how much is that going to cost? It's 150. Once the generator's built, we'll have more than enough power to handle stuff. Um, excavate and excavate. Just getting ready to build other things. I will build my, uh, whatchamacallit, the foundry right here. And two more satellite uplinks will go here, and then I'll build my access lift. I may have to build another power between and there, <laughs> then and there. <laughs> um, but we'll see. What can I build? I could build armor. Uh, they cost 17 each, 10 alloys each. I'm going to make enough for a full squad. So 40 allies is 68, and I'll still have enough to buy satellite uplink. Very cool. It can get expensive uh, later on when you're building better armors and you're running out of alloys and Illyrium. And, uh, I will also make dodges. Um, three, they cost three floater corps. So I'll make as many as I can here. I can make four. And it does cost 140, which will bring me down to 2, 1, and I'll still have enough to make the, um, whatchamacallit, the satellite uplink. Alright, let's check my barracks, and we'll call it an episode. So everybody is back on active duty, and that's good. And I can equip all of them with carapace armors, which is even better. A little bit more survivability goes a long way. Everybody take care, and I'll see you next episode.